It's Rod Tang the Iron Man, I suppose, versus Sock Tai. We have Rod Tang coming out in his Iron Man outfit and Sock Tai coming out in it's a bunny or... I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Very different than the Iron Man top. All right, we are watching a massive low kick KO. I'm a big fan of low kick KOs. I think they take so much more skill than landing a head punch. There's no luck involved with them. You have to land repeatedly. You have to trick your opponent and we're gonna watch Rod Tang do just that. It's a good low kick from his opponent there though. Right now, just a lot of one-for-ones back and forward, just outside of that striking range. Both these guys have very similar stature. But Rod Tang's kick, look when he lands, how he moves his opponent's leg, partially that is happening because Ty is not getting the check off on that 45 degree angle. If you lift your leg straight up the middle, you're gonna get calf kicked. We'll see if he makes a correction on that. He also needs to get his back off the cage. Hard spot to be because you can't back up to evade the low kicks. Rod Tang using that lead teep very, very well. But his opponent does the same thing. Back and forward they go with very similar techniques at the moment. Rod Tang just doing a slightly better job of actually landing. And again, that inside low, he's checking it, but he's not catching an angle with his shin. So he's kind of taking it in a damaging point. That was a great fake there from Rod Tang. Pump the low kick, come with a left hook, and then back down to the leg while the opponent is distracted, distracted with a headshot. To land a low kick KO, you gotta be clever. Or you just have to have iron shins like Nong O. He wasn't too clever about a lot of his kicks. He just slams it in, doesn't care if the guy checks. I think we'll see something a little bit more calculated from Rod Tang. There we go. All right, now he's landed a couple good headshots, scared him. Look at that, he was light on his lead leg and then he distracts him with the up high shots. Beautiful. The trick with the low kick is once you land one, you can't keep firing, it's not like head punches because your own leg can get damaged. So you have to return to the head and then when they get heavy, ooh, the round ends there, then when they get heavy on that leg, try and do get ready to base out for those punches, then you chop again. Ooh. Wow, what a ferocious <laughs> combo up to the head. It'll be interesting to see how long his opponent can last. He's visibly damaged. And low kick damage is not the same as head damage or even body damage. Sometimes you can rebound from those. It's just going to get worse and worse on the legs. Like tomorrow this dude's going to be wrecked. Rod Tang doing a good job, not just hunting that leg, waiting for moments like that. And switching up the angle, back to the body. This dude is staying in there surprisingly well considering he was down at the end of the first round. How much longer can he last though? You gotta feel like another five or six and he's gonna be really hurting. I love how he digs to the body. Oh, yeah, and that is it. 
Rod Tang with the low kick KO, like I said, one of the most skilled ways to finish an opponent because there's no luck involved. Somebody checks one or two of those kicks and you're not going to throw anymore. So you've got to find the meat of the leg as opposed to hitting bone. And wow, great job from Rod Tang there.